Hey everyone, so here I am doing XI 7.3. This is 9th question from fraction chapter of a class 6. So let's read the question. The question here is, match the equivalent fraction and write two more for each. So they have given like two columns with a 1, 2, 3 and another column with ABC. So first we are going to reduce the numbers in the column like 1, 2, 3 where it is written. And then we are going to find out the equivalent fraction for it. So first number we have given is 250 upon 400. So I'm going to reduce the number to the simplest form by cancelling it. So here I can cancel the zeros or you can just cancel this in 10 table. So number left is 25 upon 40. Mm. Now again this 25 upon 40 I can cancel this in a 5 table. So if you doesn't know how to do the cancellation you can factorize and you can cancel the common factor. So here I got 5 upon 8. Now we are going to find out equivalent fraction for 5 upon 8. They are asking to find out two more equivalent fraction of 5 upon 8. So we know that equivalent fraction will get either by multiplying or by dividing numerator and denominator with same number. So here I am multiplying with 2. I will get 10 upon 16. You can choose any number. Here I have taken 2 and 3. So I am going to multiply the numerator and denominator with 3 here. So 8 into 3. This will be equal to 15 upon 24. So this will be the two equivalent fraction of 5 upon 8. Now moving on to the second question which is 180 upon 200. We have to do the same thing. First we are going to reduce the number. We are going to cancel the number bring it to the simplest form. So 180 upon 200. We can able to cancel the zeros or you can cancel in a 10 table. So here I am going to cancel the zeros first. So leftover number is 18 upon 20 and this is divisible by 2 table. So we can cancel this, we will get 2 9s are 18 and 2 10s are 20. So 9 upon 10, we cannot cancel further. So 9 upon 10 will be the simplest form. So let me write down here 9 upon 10. Now to get the equivalent fraction, I am going to multiply with different number. So here in this case, I am going to multiply with 5. So 9 5 size is 45. And second is 10 into 5 is 50. This is one equivalent fraction, you can multiply with any number. Second, I am going to multiply here with 10. So 9 into 10 and 10 into 10. So it will be 90 upon 100. So let me write down this 9 upon 10 here. So it will be easy for to calculate or to match the following. Alright. So we're going to go to the next question which is 660 upon 990. So again we have a 0 at the end. We're going to cancel the zeros or you can cancel this in 10 table. So 660 upon 990. First cancel the zeros then we get 66 upon 99 now this number is divisible by 11 table or you can cancel this in 3 table so here I'm going to cancel this in 11 table I'll get 6 upon 9 and again 6 and 9 is divisible by 3 so I'm going to cancel this in 3 table so 3 2s are 6 and 3 3s are 9 so the reduced form will be 2 upon 3 right now I'm going to find out the equivalent fraction for 2 upon 3 Again, you can multiply with any number, just multiply with smaller number so that multiplication will be easier. So here 2 and 3 are going to multiply with 2. So multiply 2 in the numerator and denominator will get 4 upon 6. The one more equivalent fraction will be multiply with 4. So 2 4s are 8 and 3 4s are 12. So 8 by 12 will be the one more equivalent fraction. The next one we have the fourth one which is 180 upon 360. Again, we have a zero at the end. We can cancel the zeros or cancel this in a 10 table. So 180 upon 360, cancel the zeros. So we are left with 18 upon 36. Again, you can cancel this in 6 table or you can directly cancel this in 18 table, 18 ones are and 18 twos are. Or if you want a simple form, you can cancel this in 2 table or 6 table. Now this 1 upon 2 are going to multiply with different numbers to get the equivalent, uh, equivalent fractions. So first I am going to multiply with 3. So multiply numerator and denominator with 3. We will get 3 upon 6. Again 1 upon 2 I am going to multiply here with. Uh, you can take any number. So I am going to take simple number 6. So 1 into 6 and 2 into 6. So 6 uh, ones are 6 and 2 6 are 12. So these are two equivalent, equivalent fraction for the 1 upon 2. Now last we have is 220 upon 550. Again we have a zeros at the end. So we are going to cancel the zeros first. 
so we got uh, 22 upon 55 again this 22 and 55 goes in 11 table we can cancel them in 11 table so this is 11 twos are 22 and 11 fives are 55 so number we got here is 2 upon 5 right now for 2 upon 5 i'm going to find the equivalent fraction so again the same thing we cannot divide here because we're getting the simplest form so better to multiply so 2 upon 5 will multiply here with 6 so we get 6 2 is 12 and 5 6 is 30. Again take different number. So 2 upon 5 multiplying the numerator and denominator with 7. So 2 7 is 14 and 5 7 is 35. So that's it. We have found the equivalent, equivalent fraction for every number. Now I want to do the match the following. So here for every question we have reduced it. So first one we got 5 upon 8. And in second column we got 5 upon 8 in the fourth option that is D. So first is same as a D. And second one, we got 9 upon 10 and that is same as E. In E also we got 9 upon 10. So second will be equal to E. The next one, we have 2 upon 3. So 2 upon 3 here is equal to the first one which is A. So third will be equal to A. The next one, we have 1 upon 2. So here 1 upon 2 is equal to C. In C also we have 1 upon 2. So, fourth one will be equal to 1 upon 2. And the last one left is B. So, you can just match them. So, fifth one is equal to B. So, that's it. This was a simple question. I hope it's clear. In case you have any doubt or a question, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.